So, a lot of you are curious about some of the projects that we've been doing out in here. So, I wanted to show you guys a little something about uh, an adobe house project that we're doing. It's going to be a partially submerged type of building with uh, walls made of adobe bricks and a ceiling made out of um, concrete cloth, I think they call it. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But uh, I'll show you the, the progress on some of this. Here, get some water. Here. So we're digging the footing right now. I'll go up top, see if I can find a good spot for this camera. Oh, no, get down, bud. Order a drink. <laughs> Let me uh, finish up this right uh, here. And, uh, right. I'll just bring the cigarettes out here for you. Okay, yeah, might as well. As you can see, there's a good foot and a half layer of very fine, fine sand that uh, we are having to remove from this circular area here before we can start digging down. Because if we don't, every time we take a scoop of the sand, the same amount of sand falls right back in the hole. You can probably see it flying in the wind as I throw it, how fine it is. As soon as that's done, we can continue this middle section here where we're starting to dig down. This adobe house project is going to be 12 foot round, 5 foot deep, with uh, 8 foot ceilings on the interior. Which means there's going to be a 3 foot adobe wall above this 5 foot hole, which will be lined with adobe bricks about this big. Uh, there's going to be about a 5 foot by 5 foot section right there that's not part of the circle that's going to be the entryway right there facing the front driveway of the library oh, break. Uh, all right anyway some of you might remember a few videos ago uh, I said that we had a couple new crew members one of them already left uh, the heat was just too intense, she couldn't handle it, and went back home. Uh, the other one is Scott. Uh, he, uh, he may not be too pretty, but I've known this guy for several years, about five years now. Uh, and uh, be lucky. He, uh, I've been telling him about the library for a number of years now. Uh, and, you know, he, he had an opportunity to come out here and help me out for a little while. So here he is. Uh, you guys can write fan mail to him the same way, the same way you did to Panda Bear, uh, who, by the way, uh, he's doing all right. He's uh, traveling on the East Coast right now, for those of you who are curious still. Uh, so he's, he's still traveling. He's not dead in a ditch or nothing like that.
well-deserved cigarette break.